Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today's video, we are going to be using the Dior Holiday, Holiday Couture Collection. And this is what it looks like. It has a mirror and you've got the protective case and then you have five shadows. So this is what we are going to be playing with today. This was a Mother's Day giveaway that I won from Unbox With Me. That is a YouTube channel here. Um, it is a channel here on YouTube, I should say. The content creator's name is Marsha, and she had a giveaway contest for Mother's Day. And you basically just had to write down in the comments below what your favorite memory was of being a mother. And kind of talk about like, mention how many kids you had and their ages and that kind of stuff. So. I did that. Um, I talked about, it was 2007. I had just had my second child, probably I think like three or four days before Mother's Day that year. So my mom was in town and we took the baby up to my mother-in-law's house, or really, I guess it was my sister-in-law house at the time. So we went up to her house. It was me, my mom, my husband, um, and my other child. And we went up there to see his mom, his sister, his grandma, and all of the cousins. So it was just a really, really, really nice Mother's Day. And I, you know, that's what I left my response at. What I didn't say is that was probably the ma the last Mother's Day that I spent with my mom. So my mom passed in 2011. And it isn't something that I mentioned. I wasn't trying to gain sympathy. But just, you know, my comment alone, just of spending Mother's Day with my mom and my new baby, um, my entry was chosen as the, the winner. And so I won this beautiful Dior palette. And it is really, really special. And I know that um, Marsha does not know this, but that the fact that I won was such, it meant a lot to me. It meant so much to me. Mother's Day is not a holiday that I often celebrate. Oh. While it is a holiday that, you know, my kids can celebrate with me, I get super emotional and I'm going to get super emotional just talking about it. Um, I don't get to celebrate it with my mom anymore. So I, I just don't celebrate Mother's Day. So to win this giveaway for Mother's Day meant the world to me. And Mother's Day this year fell on same child who was born um back in 2007 his birthday this year fell on mother's day so that is what we celebrated this year we celebrated his birthday so again it meant so much to me that i won this giveaway and then not only did i win the giveaway this was sent to me and my mother's birthday was this past weekend so um, it just like all kind of comes together and this palette will forever hold a special place in my heart just because of that connection. So, um, Marcia, thank you. I know that, you know, you didn't expect this sob story when, um, you chose me, but it, it really, it meant a lot to me and I'm forever grateful. So we are going to play with this Dior palette. I know my mother would approve. She, um, was a big Dior fan and I know that this is kind of like a sign from her so I'm really really thankful and then without even knowing it Marcia sent with me um sent some extra goodies which totally was unexpected and very very generous um so I received a lip gloss from Pat McGrath Labs and this is in shade faux real I love the Pat McGrath lip glosses they are phenomenal they are so good. So, so good. And this is a perfect nude shade. So we're going to put that on. We're going to put it over the lipstick that I'm wearing because I think that this is going to be a really, really good topper shade. And then she also sent a sample of the Miss Dior perfume and a sample of the Dior Iconic over curl. So I will actually use the sample of the mascara today um, when we are done applying these this eyeshadow. 
So we're just gonna do a real quick um, video. I'll apply the eyeshadow. I'm, I'm gonna do the same look on each eye. Um, the This is not gonna be a first impression or a first time using this because I actually did film this video a few days ago. And when I lost my cell phone, this video was one of the videos that I lost. So I am refilming this video for the second time. So that's why there is no packaging because I already opened it and I knew that these were products that I would not get rid of in any manner. So I got rid of the boxes. Um, so I apologize that I don't have the pretty boxes that they came in, but um, I do have the products and that's what we're gonna play with today. So that was a really long introduction. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's get into the application. And since I'm also filming with a new camera, um, the quality may be better, maybe worse. You may be able to see all my imperfections. I don't know, but, um, this is going to be, cause I do film with my cell phone. So we'll see how this turns out with this new phone that I got. Um, I will go ahead and swatch these shades for you first before we start applying them. They're really creamy. So we're going to start with this light and go all the way to this copper. So there are the five shades. They are extremely, extremely creamy. Very, very soft. I'm gonna take this peach shade and just place it all over the lid. And I'm using a Sonia G Worker One. I do have eye primer on. Today I have the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Primer. And I don't know what the um, consistency of the product, like I don't know if they're satin or matte. They don't look matte, but they don't really look like shimmers either. And I believe this was a limited edition palette that came out at the holiday time. I did not pick it up, so this is a new palette to me and I really like it. I used it, like I said, when I filmed the other day. And I thought it was really, it was really pretty. So now I'm gonna go into this kind of like a rose gold shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the lower part of my lid. And this is a Sonia G Soft Shader. I'm just taking it on the lower half of the lid up to the crease, but not in the crease. I'm gonna take a Sonia G Classic Crease and I'm gonna go into this brown shade. And I'm gonna take that starting at the outer corner and blend in. This came out at winter time, and I think that it really is an all year palette. So I don't think that you have to limit this to fall or winter. These are shades, they're just everyday, very neutral shades that I think you can wear in the summer, you can wear in the fall, you can wear in the winter. So I don't think that you have to limit yourself on this palette. I think it is neutral enough where you can wear it all year. I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 207 and I'm gonna go into this white shade. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner and see if I can brighten up the eye a little bit. It's not like a highlight shade at all. So you can see it's not really brightening that outer, that inner corner at all. So 
So now I'm going to take it underneath the brow bone. And I think that's where it works best is underneath the brow bone. I definitely, I don't think that it's an inner corner shade. I'm taking Marc Jacobs crease brush and I'm just going to go into this kind of red copper shade and I'm just going to sweep that in the crease just to give it a little bit of color. It's really pretty. These shadows really blend well together. I'm going to go back in with the Sonia G soft shader and I'm going to go in that light peach color and just focus on the inner half of my eye, just trying to brighten that up. Let's see what happens if I put the white. It doesn't really do much. So we're gonna just stick with that peach. All right, last we're gonna go in with a mini booster and go to that brown shade. And very, very precisely, I'm going to just add some of that dark brown to the outer corner to give a little bit of definition. There is very, very little fallout, but there is a little, so I'm going to take my powder brush and just kind of wipe it away. All right, so there's the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with my Tom Ford eye defining pen, and then we're gonna use this new um, Dior eyeshadow. All right, so eyeliner is on, and I'm gonna open this up. So this is the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. Now, I have had this mascara before, and it's not my favorite. However, I often find that sample mascaras are better than the full size. I don't know what it is. It's like they make it really good. They suck you in they make you want to buy it and then you buy it and it's not as good. All right, I'm going to put a primer down and I actually do have the Dior primer. And let's see if it makes a difference because it's just not my favorite mascara. All right, so there's the mascara. I definitely think it curls the lashes, just the, um, the wand. So I definitely, I think that that claim is true. I just think that I personally have a hard time with the curved applicator. So I think it's probably more a personal preference. But, all right, so there's the eye look. I really, really like it. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, palette that is good for all year. I like it. And it will definitely be one that I cherish and every time I pick it up. It'll make me think of my mom, Mother's Day. And so for that, I am extremely grateful. And I just, it makes me love it even more. So that's just like, you know, the personal connection with it. Um, now let's line my, or put some gloss on my lips. Like I said, the Pat McGrath formula is amazing. Oh yeah, see that's a perfect topper shade. It kind of just blends into whatever you're wearing underneath and just makes it glossy. Oh, that's that's perfect. I love it. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I want to give a huge thank you to Marsha of Unbox With Me. I am going to link her channel as well as her Instagram down below so that if you guys haven't already um, subscribed or followed her, you really should. 
she just does unboxing videos and um she always has the latest and the greatest uh luxury products i've been following her since the beginning of her youtube channel and i kind of um we both have a love for House of Siash uh, fragrances, and that's how I discovered her channel, and I've been following her ever since, and I really have enjoyed it. And I love to watch what other people buy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what it is. Um, but so if that's something that think you would, if that is something that interests you, you should definitely check her out. I, again, I will leave her information down below, and I just want to thank her again for this amazing um, giveaway. I, it means the world to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear down below if you guys have tried this um, palette or did you pick it up and what your thoughts are. I happen to really, really like it. I am very impressed. All right, guys, that's it. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.